Hi everyone, welcome to Room Scopes. I'm just adding a little uh, announcement here at the beginning of some of the videos. Others I've worked it in to the actual uh, monthly readings, but um, I've noticed that if I tap, if I'm on a, if my cell phone or a mobile device, if I tap any email address in the details section, like mine is, um, there's some sort of warning that comes up that says that that email address is a phishing site. I apologize if some of you have tapped my email address and gotten that message. Um, I've been going back, I went back and forth with YouTube for days on this and they claim it's not them. However, it does it to me too on my phone. Any email address that I tap on YouTube um, it tells me it's a phishing site or a scam site or something. So um, I don't want to alarm people. Uh, I have no idea what the setting is to change that. Um, like I said, YouTube claims it's not them, but I find it weird that it only happens on their uh, version of the app, but whatever. Um, so for that reason, I don't want to alarm anyone. So I'm going to, uh, in the details section, take the link out, um, just copy uh, you know, my email address and change the word at to the at symbol uh, to email me. That way it's not misleading, it's not scaring anybody um, and uh, telling people that I'm a scammer or some sort of spammer uh, when I have a legitimate business. So again, I apologize to those of you if you've tapped on my email address before to email me and you've got that weird warning. Um, it does seem to only happen on uh, the mobile YouTube app. Uh, on a mobile device or, or a cell phone. So moving forward, I just wanted to let you know about that. So thanks and on to your monthly RuneScope. Hi there, Libra. Welcome to your June 2015 RuneScope with me. My name is Amanda. Uh, let's just jump right in and see what energies are going to be shaking for you guys in June. Uh, also wanted to let you guys know it can be a good time since we are already halfway through the year to go back and check the yearly overview readings I did for you all. Uh, you can find those by going to my channel and uh, clicking the videos tab. There's also a, a playlist of all the videos I've done if you would rather uh, look at it, find it that way. It might be a little bit easier than going through every video I've ever posted, so that might be the best way to do that. So, but yeah, it can definitely uh, be a good time to kind of review that again, just kind of see what the latter half of 2015 holds for you, uh, rather than the monthly snapshots we get here. It's a lot more uh, condensed energies and specific information about that time frame, but it can be nice to kind of, over a six month period now, see what's coming up in the, in the latter half and, and what's played out for you uh, in the first six months. Um, also, as I always do, I want to remind you to check out the video for your rising sign as well. Uh, each month that can give you some more information of other issues and areas you may be dealing with in June. Of course, the only way to get specific questions answered about you uh, is to schedule an appointment with me. I do readings on Skype. It's $65 for a 30 minute session. Drop me a line at the email address in this video or below this video if you want to set up an appointment and we can do that. If you're not seeing the email address, if you're on a mobile device, just tap the little arrow beneath this video and that will reveal the details section where my email address is. Um, also, there are still a few days to sign up. Uh, if you're watching this in, uh, in May, that is. There's still a few days to sign up for the six week online rune course. If you wanna learn how to read the runes yourself uh, for you and for others, uh, you can sign up for that by uh, noon Eastern time, May 28th. So that's the, the cutoff deadline date if you want to sign up. Get in touch with me and we'll get you on the roster. But let's jump into June. Libra. Let me just kind of assimilate here and see what you guys and gals are going to be dealing with. Well, your focus, I feel, is going to be on home, family, some of you may be dealing with property, real estate, so some of you may be looking, you know, the way that's broken down is is, is looking to move in June or, or um, looking to buy or sell property. Some of you may be dealing with conflict in the family over an inheritance or a trust because we have uh, Othel. And we also have the Four of Swords in reverse. So that tells me right away it's going to be a very busy month for you. Uh, a lot going on, but it may be busy mentally 
uh, as well. You know, there may be a lot of running around, um, a, a lot of going back and forth, a lot of messages being exchanged. I feel like that as well. Um, you may find that there, with, with as we still have Mercury retrograde the first half of June, uh, the first 11 days anyway, I think, uh, you may find that, you know, you're waiting <laughs> with the three of rods here. Uh, you, but that's actually a good thing because this, this card's coming up in the help position. So anything that's been delayed is actually, you're going to get more pertinent information anyway when it eventually does come through. So yeah, if it were to come through um, earlier in the month when with Mercury going retrograde, it may be misinformation, it may be not, you know, something that is not, you may not get all of the information, maybe partial information, or somebody, it may just be wrong information. So it's going to be better if you're waiting on information to hear it um, when it comes. And uh, patience is going to be necessary, Libra. I say that to pretty much all of the signs every month because that seems to be the biggest thing with, with uh, we humans. We are so impatient. But no matter how impatient we are, things are still going to happen when they're supposed to happen. And, you know, you can stomp your feet and grump and, about it, but that's just kind of the way it goes down for all of us. I'm in the same boat. Um, we all are. Uh, about that. So yeah, there's something that may be going on. If there are delays in June, that's what these readings are for in advance. Now you know about it, just prepare for it. You're not going to get the answer on time. Um, you may have to clear some things up. You may have disagreements with family members and arguments over um, possessions or property or, or things like things of that nature. Um, now, some of you, Libra, you may feel opposed by family or you may be in a group that's opposing a, a family member because of the way they're handling property, the way they're handling possessions. Um, you know, you may be arguing, uh, you know, amongst yourselves over real estate that you're trying to buy or over delays or maybe you are disagreeing over the kind of real estate, where you want to move, the kind of home you want. Maybe you, you, you like one house and your mate likes another and you're not seeing eye to eye. Give all of this until the, the second part of the month because I really feel like after Mercury goes direct, there will be an opportunity um, to move forward. You'll just be seeing things more clearly. You'll have more information, most definitely. Uh, to, to move forward at that time when it comes to uh, any property or possession issues going on or estate things, stuff like that. Um, now, the help available to you, again, is that the, the information is going to come at just the right time. Um, some of you may be leaving behind an ideal. And by ideal, and this may be something connected to the past. That's another way this rune can work is that, you know, you may be, maybe you are, you want to buy a house because it reminds you of the place that you grew up in, but your mate doesn't want to live there or your, you know, your kids don't like it or they don't want to go to the school there or something. Maybe that's what's causing the conflict. Um, somebody holding on or, or maybe your kids don't want to move because they like their school and they don't want to make new friends. Somebody... In some cases, it will be you, and in other cases, it will be, you know, another member of the family, because again, it'll be different for all of you, as there are so many people watching these videos, but um, somebody's going to have to let go of an something they've idealized from the past. They're going to let go of the past and move forward. With the Ten of Swords, something has to die. <laughs> um, now, you know, in some cases, this can be a literal death, a physical death. But I feel like this has already happened. It's not going to happen in June. So those of you who are dealing with this, you already know watching this, what the, and with this is estate stuff coming up. That could be, um, you know, definitely for some of you how this is playing out. And I, I'm very sorry uh, for those of you who have lost people. Um, and, you know, over the last uh, month or so, I'm please accept my apologies for that and my condolences. Um, but for those of you moving into June, I, most of you, it's already happened and you're just dealing with moving forward and, you know, trying to get everybody to kind of um, see eye to eye. Now, I think a lot of you are just, this is saying that you are just kind of feeling um, worrisome. Uh, there's mental unrest 
And for air signs, you don't mentally rest all that much anyway, though, you know, because you are mental. The, you know, this, not mental as in crazy. <laughs> That's not what I mean for those of you in the UK. <laughs> but you live in the mind. That's where you live. And so there's, it's always going, always going a mile a minute. Um, so yeah, I, I do feel like though you are moving into a new beginning, whether it's an actual move, a shift or change to a new location, a new job, a new uh, residence for most of you, I feel is what this is. Um, this is where you're supposed to go because you having was, which is the rune of luck and new beginnings, fortunate new beginnings. Um, so whatever the issue is at the start of June, there's going to be resolution. There's going to be forward movement. Somebody's going to have to sacrifice, give up something, let something die from the past in order to move forward. But that's what regeneration's all about, isn't it? Uh, you gotta, you gotta let something die and let the new replace it. Um, cause otherwise if you don't let that old thing die, there's no room for the new to, to take its place. So, um, yeah, what can't be changed about June? Um, now, in the midst of all of this, with the four of rods in reverse, yeah, again, disruption just around uh, your closest relationships. <laughs> Arguments are gonna be, you know, everybody's gonna be a bit snippy. There may be a male individual who's being particularly stubborn. For some of you, this may be your husband, your boyfriend, a brother, if you're dealing with, you know, extended family, um, a child who doesn't wanna move. Um, and just not putting forth any effort. So, okay, yeah, they're showing, they're showing me the kid who's like, no, I'm not gonna pack up my room. I don't wanna move there, I'm not gonna go. So I'm not packing my stuff. Or I'm not gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go live with grandma, <laughs> you know? You may have a, a teenager or, or a kid telling you this, you know, when you know, this kid's too young to, to live on their own or not equipped to live on their own, so. Yeah, Libra, for a lot of you, this is just somebody that's being stubborn you're going to have to deal with. But where you're going is actually going to be a positive new beginning for them. So if you're meeting resistance, they're just not dealing well with change. Which, you know, who of us does? So kind of knowing this ahead of time, which, you know, that's what these, these readings are, are all about. Hopefully you can counteract that a little bit in, uh, with understanding and just be like, look, I know it's a big change. But, you know, it's going to be really awesome because we're closer to the beach or, you know, just try to accentuate the positive or we're closer to that amusement park that you like or, you know, um, there's a really good football program, you know, whatever your kid's into. Uh, see if you can maybe uh, find out what where their interests lie and what how this uh, new location or this new shift is going to benefit them or, or make those um, opportunities available to him or her it can be a female but i i do feel like for a lot of you this is going to play out as a male energy who's really kind of not putting forth the effort not about whatever this change is so um some of you i do feel like this is going to be um you know it's going to be a process so it may be like, yes, you get moved, but then it's not until the kid starts school and kind of gets adjusted that things are fully flushed out or, or that, you know, this, uh, the benefits of this change are, are uh, readily um, available or re able to be seen by, by everyone. But with the star card in reverse, um, this can sometimes mean that someone feels like they're not getting the attention that they deserve. Or, and for a lot of you, it will be the same person. I'm not getting the consideration that I should be getting, you know. I'm not the star of the show right now when I usually am. Or, um, oh, uh, some of you may be having a baby. <laughs> now, again, I feel like for most of you, this is already, you know, this is, you were set to deliver <laughs> in June. This is not like a new pregnancy. This is a fertility room, though. So um, if you don't want to get pregnant, maybe make sure that, you know, just double check that things are on the up and up with your protection. Um, but yeah, this could be someone, you know, an older child not adjusting well to a new baby or, uh, you know, that first grandchild. Now there's another grandchild in the family and uh, this kid's no longer the star and they're just not adjusting to it very well. Or um, maybe they find out mom's pregnant and I'm not excited about it at all. 
So um, I do think that this will change as things normally do uh, with this rune here. It's a very beneficial rune of a fortunate outcome and then it's just gonna take time it's not going to be overnight, but more of a gradual change. But one day you'll wake up and, you know, you'll find that this kid loves this other child immensely or they're just the best of buds. So, uh, yeah, June is a situation where you may have somebody feeling a little left out, like they're not, like they're... Uh, their opinions aren't being heard. Libra, for some of you, this may be you. Maybe you feel like, you know, you're not being heard, particularly in that first part of the month. But um, again, give it time. Because, uh, you know, with Mercury turning direct, a lot of things are going to follow suit. And, and things that were kind of mishmash and wonky will uh, get back on track. So keep that in mind for June, Libra. Good luck, and I'll see you back here in, Ju in July.